Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Lisa, also known as La Dolce Lisa. And I'm so excited for this video because I was looking around YouTube to see if this was a thing. And I don't really think that there is like a formal template of this kind of video. So I decided to sort of make one myself. So hopefully if you guys like this video, please answer these exact same questions and we can get this going as the Christmas Q&A or the holiday Q&A. There are 10, Christmas or holiday themed questions that I'm going to be asking and answering for you guys. And I sort of did them all myself, so I hope you enjoy that. And it will allow you guys to get to know me a little bit better as well through one of my favorite holidays, and that is Christmas. So I'm going to be answering 10 questions that I came up with and hopefully you guys enjoy these questions and want to also participate in this tag as well. Please tag me and let me know if you guys enjoyed this. And of course, if you guys like these kind of videos and holiday or Christmas themed videos, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one. So without talking too much, which I tend to do in these intros, let's get started. Here is my Christmas Q&A. So the first question is, when do you start decorating for Christmas? And now I think if you guys saw me and my sister put up our Christmas decorations, you would already know that. I don't really know how this became a thing, but basically every November 1st, we decorate for Christmas. A lot of you guys would maybe say that that is a little bit too early for Christmas. And in a way it can be, especially if you're American and you still haven't even had your Thanksgiving yet. But in Canada, our Thanksgiving is in October. So right after Halloween, we are basically ready for Christmas. I don't think Christmas lasts long enough. I think two months of Christmas isn't really that much to ask for. So we really decorate and put up everything on November 1st. And the weather is still nice. If you have to even decorate outside of your house and things like that, you're not freezing because it gets really cold in Canada. So we decorate for November 1st. That's when everything goes up for Christmas. And I think my sister and I have been doing this tradition for the last like, four or five years now. We used to like to decorate for Christmas after my mom's birthday, which is the 7th of November. So after that we would decorate, but we decided to push it up even earlier and decorate on the 1st. And we've been doing it ever since. And I seriously love it. The next question, is your Christmas tree real or fake? Well, the Christmas tree is right behind me. And as you can see, it is a fake Christmas tree. It is this flocked whitish Christmas tree. And we got this actually recently. We got this at the end of last year. It was on sale. It was such a great price. I absolutely love this tree. And my Christmas tree has been fake since I was a little kid. I think that if you started the tradition of having a real tree when you were younger, you probably would always get a real tree. We've always had a fake tree and it's just been so much easier for us. So my tree is fake and I don't have to worry about little bugs or creepy crawlers inside my house or things like that. So I do really enjoy having a fake Christmas tree. The next question is, do you open presents on Christmas Eve or Christmas Day? I open presents on Christmas Day because I like to go to sleep and have something to look forward to. I've been doing this since I was a kid as well. I remember that when I was a kid, and of course when you're younger, you do have a lot more presents to choose from. Now I don't think I'd have the luxury of doing this, but when I was younger, we would always be able to open one present on Christmas Eve just to kind of give us something to look forward to. And usually we'd get to pick our presents or maybe sometimes my mom would actually choose the presents that we all, us three sisters had to open because often we had the same gift guys so we'd make sure to open them at the exact same time i guess that's how sisters are you kind of get the same thing more or less but we've always opened our presents on christmas day with the exception of maybe one on christmas eve if we were lucky so now i of course still do that tradition and it gives me something to look forward to i remember always waking up so early when i was younger maybe at like six in the morning to open gifts so i really love that and i love that tradition of christmas day gift opening the next question, what is your favorite Christmas movie? I have so many favorite Christmas movies. I think I might even do a video on my favorite Christmas movies because I seriously have a lot. One of my favorite Christmas movies is probably The Santa Claus starring Tim Allen. I just love that one. For some reason, I've loved that ever since I was younger and it's just been a very nostalgic Christmas movie for me as well, The Nutcracker Prince. So those are kind of my two top ones. Maybe if I had to choose a cartoon, The Nutcracker Prince. And if I had to choose an actual film, it would be the one with Tim Allen. Now growing up, there are great options like the holiday and things like that, but these are just my favorite Christmas movies. Great for children or adults alike. I love the Santa Claus and I love the music in that and I feel like it's such a whimsical little Christmas movie and it always gets me in the holiday spirit. There are a few Christmas movies that me and my sisters always make sure to watch every Christmas so I kind of have a list for you guys. If you want a Christmas video please let me know but probably one of my favorite ones is the Santa Claus and I feel like that's underrated. A lot of people would say Elf but 
Santa Claus is just so much better in my opinion. I love it. Next, what is your favorite Christmas song? So what is a song that comes on that you actually don't mind? <laughs> Basically, my favorite song is any song from the Nutcracker, the Tchaikovsky, beautiful Nutcracker ballet. I absolutely love all of those songs. And when I hear them instantly, I'm taken back to Christmas time as a young girl. So they are so nostalgic for me. I just love them. They're so whimsical and sort of mischievous with those little bells and things that are in the song. It's just such a beautiful score. So I I love any song from the Nutcracker Ballet by Tchaikovsky. Next, we're getting to some more exciting questions. This is, what is your favorite Christmas treat to eat? And now I love Christmas treats. I have such a sweet tooth, so I'm gonna go sweet with this. I guess if you're not a sweet tooth person, you can go savory as well. But I'm probably going to say one of my, I have two favorite things, so I'll be mentioning them. One is definitely more because of my background. Since I am Italian by background, I love panettone. A nice Christmas panettone is so good. And my favorite brand lately, they've been shipping to Canada now, which is so exciting, is Sal di Riso. Specifically, the tiramisu flavor is heaven. Anything else with pistachio or pistacchio, if you want to say it in Italian, I love panettone. As a kid, I used to hate when my parents would get the ones with fruits, the raisins and the the dried fruits and things, I would pick them out and I'd be so annoyed, like, why isn't this chocolate? But now as an adult, I love the fruit flavored one too. It's maybe even almost better because you can really taste how rich and delicious it is. And I think it's one of my favorite Christmas treats because it is specifically for Christmas time and it is so rich. They put a lot of butter in it and it's something that I have never even ever attempted to make and I don't think I could. So I love to indulge and buy myself a beautiful Christmas panettone. It's delicious and I eat that all throughout the holiday. And as well, if I can mention one more thing that's a little bit weird that not a lot of people like, it's fruitcake. I love fruitcake. A lot of people would kind of consider it like an elderly sort of dessert, but I love fruitcake. I've loved fruitcake ever since I was, well, ever since I got over the fact that I hated fruits and raisins and things like that in my dessert. But I love a good fruitcake crammed with all those delicious dried fruits and nuts and things like that. But I can only eat it if it has that marzipan frosting on top. Oh my gosh, it's so delicious. That almondy flavor is perfect. So I love a nice frosted fruitcake as well. I know that's a bit weird. If you guys like fruitcake, let me know. I feel like I'm the only one who likes fruitcake these days, but it's seriously so delicious and so Christmassy. Next question, what is your favorite festive drink? Ah, this is such a cute question. I feel like I always have so many options, so I'm gonna try to narrow it down, but I would say if I had to pick one, it would be eggnog. I love eggnog. Again, something that maybe you either love or hate. I absolutely love eggnog, but it has to be a specific type of eggnog. They have a really good premium eggnog at like, I think it's called Circle K now. It's a really good, delicious premium eggnog. Anything that's really good and creamy. There's some eggnogs that I buy that I really just don't like the flavor of them. I'm a little bit picky with my eggnog. I feel like probably if you look at the calories, the most fattening one is usually the best. So I love eggnog. And then if I had to go the alcoholic route, I really love a good mulled wine for the holidays. Just the spices and things like that. I'm such a spicy person. I'll even put spices in my hot chocolate. So I just really love a good spicy mulled wine and I can't wait to make one this holiday season. I actually bought one that's already pre-made. So all you have to do is warm it up and you're good to go. So I'm really excited to have some mulled wine. So that's easily my favorite holiday drink as well. Next, what is your favorite holiday tradition? I love Christmas because I love the fact that it just naturally comes with so many traditions like opening your presents in the morning as opposed to the evening or decorating on a certain day. There's just always traditions ingrained with Christmas time as it is. But one of my favorite holiday traditions probably the past couple of years has been having an advent calendar. My sister and I go a little bit crazy and we often get like three or four different kinds of advent calendars. We have certain ones that we always buy and then we usually try out a more luxury one. So I have a nice luxury advent calendar that I'm excited to try. But I love having an advent calendar. You have something to look forward to every single day of December. So it just makes Christmas feel that much more festive. And that is a nice tradition that not even COVID can stop because it used to be going to visit a Christmas market, but now that's not really possible anymore, unfortunately. Sadly, because of COVID, I won't be able to probably visit many Christmas markets. So a really good tradition 
no matter what, is definitely having a nice advent calendar. Next question, what country would you love to visit during the holidays? Now, it takes everything in me not to say Italy because I would love to visit Italy all year round and Italy, especially Rome, would be gorgeous during the holidays. Italy does a beautiful tradition as well on the 6th of January where they have La Befana, so everyone gets together and you get to see the little witch fly by and it's just really cute. She's the one who fills your stockings on the 6th of January, so that's really cute. So if I couldn't pick Italy because I would pick Italy over everything, Thing, obviously I would actually have to say Germany because Germany is the place where Christmas markets were invented I think they started doing Christmas markets like hundreds of years ago in Germany the first one was invented in Germany so I would love to visit the main sort of Christmas market attraction areas in Germany I think that would be so cute and it would be such a dream and I've already searched so many online as like a bucket list thing that I want to do and I would definitely love to see a good Christmas market in Germany for the holiday season. If that's where they were invented, I wanna be there. They have the cutest things and they have so many nice like German festive desserts as well. So truly anywhere in Europe, I would love to visit during the holidays, but specifically for this reason alone and the fact that I've never been for the holidays, I would love to see Germany. They even do have, from what I'm seeing, a nice Christmas market in Stuttgart where I've been. So I just feel like anything European, I mean, even I'm sure Copenhagen, Denmark would be super cute for the holidays. But yeah, they have gorgeous Christmas markets in Cologne, in Berlin, in Stuttgart, in lots of places. So I would definitely pick Germany for the holiday season. That would be a bucket list dream of mine. And finally, the last question, what is the best part about Christmas? And I feel like this is probably easy to answer because the best part about Christmas is honestly just that warm and cozy feeling you get from being festive and just being surrounded by your loved ones. Truly, what is better than that? I feel like the best part about Christmas has always been getting together with family and people that you really love to spend time with and just celebrating the holidays together, eating, drinking, and being merry. There's honestly nothing better than quality time with family members. Just Christmas is so magical, so definitely being with your loved ones and being cozy and comfy inside or just doing festive things, I mean, that's just the best. So definitely if I just had a simple answer, the best part about Christmas is being surrounded by your loved ones. If you are fortunate enough to have loved ones to spend the holiday season with this year because of COVID, take advantage of that for sure. If you can do it safely, of course. If not, I mean, it will just give you a sort of longing for when the world's a little bit safer. So yeah, in a short answer, family is the best part about Christmas. So there you guys go, that wraps up my Christmas q and I decided to pick 10 questions. Hopefully a lot of them were easy to answer and you didn't have to get as long-winded as me. You could probably just use one answer for these, but I tend to go off on tangents a lot. I hope this gave you guys the opportunity to get to know me a little bit better. And if you would like to participate in this Q&A, please do and tag me down below. Guys, if you don't have a YouTube channel but you love to watch YouTube, feel free to answer all of the questions in the comment section down below. I can challenge you guys to to just saying one word. So for each of the questions, just answer them with one word, unlike me who just went off on a crazy tangent. But if you guys would like to do that in the comments down below, I would love to read your answers. That would be a great way for us to sort of get to know each other. And nothing is more cozy than Christmas. It's very nostalgic, so you kind of get a feel for someone's childhood and traditions as well. So I really love that. So again, thank you guys so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Merry Christmas and happy holidays, guys. It's a Christmas q and &A. It's a Christmas q and You don't want to be on film? Okay, I put you down. Yeah. Okay, you go to sleep.